Whoa, that's beautiful. You guys are the smartest people in the world. Did A push keep you up all night? Well, don't worry. Miss Gentry's got you covered. The dermal tissue system is the plant's outer protective covering. Like our skin, it forms the first line of defense against physical damage and pathogens. Thanks, Mrs. G. Thanks, Gentry. I just want to know what I missed yesterday. Oh, yesterday we used chemistry as life. All your work is done. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it's huge mom. Okay. Okay. See thank you. You're welcome. Bored during summer? No need to worry. Learn about ecology with the summer assignment. Oh my god! If this was the Hardy Weinberg Equilibrium IVP, and you'd be cute, together would equal one from. No. water, carbon, and the biological functions of phospholipids, carbohydrates, and all that good stuff. Okay, in unit two, you get to learn all about the cells, such as the differences between the animal and plant cell, and how they undergo cell cellular respiration and photosynthesis, and how those go hand in hand. And I think this is always a fun one. You get to learn about different genes, DNA, chromosomes. You'll get to do some Punnett squares, pedigrees, all that fun stuff. In the evolutionary history of biological diversity, you can learn about species divergence. For example, the finches on the Guapagos Islands move around from island to island, and when they get the island with the big nut, they have to have longer beaks. So, this island is more suitable for the birds with the uh, small beaks because the nuts are small and they don't have to go as deep into the tree to get them. Therefore, the big, the big leaf trees come over this way and get the big nuts because there. And then they evolve into two separate species, one with a big beak and one with a little beak. And that's called species divergence. And it's a theory that was presented by Charles Darwin in his explorations in the Galapagos Islands. In the plant form and function unit, you'll get to learn about different soils that plants will react better to, and it'll help you to plant your own garden one day. Go. In the Animal Form and Function Unit, you'll learn all about the systems of the human body, specifically how neurons transmit signals to other parts of the body. 
Go. In the ecology unit, you learn about uh, population and community ecology and the different types of environments many different organisms live in. Despite all of the work, AP Biology is a great class. We strongly encourage you to take it. AP Bio has the reputation of being the hardest AP class on campus. So if you get a B or higher, you can flex all your knowledge to your friends. If you get a C or higher in the class, you'll get a GPA boost. AP Biology will give you great skills for college, such as work ethic. AP Biology will change your life. So no one told you class is gonna be this way. Your grades a joke, you're broke, your social life's DOA. It's like you're always stuck in the geo phase. When it hasn't been your test, your grades, or even the lack of time, I'll be there for you. When your grades start to fall, I'll be there for you. When your report card comes in, I'll be there for you to help you study.